r slash us credit, Confucius once said we all have two lives, the second one starts when you realize you only have one. When and why did your second life begin? A dear friend got cancer. Out of the blue and bad. We were 29 and both just hitting our strides in life and work. She was dead 18 months later. It absolutely rocked me to my core, how fragile life is. Last week, a co-worker had a gigantic heart attack and instantly died right there in the cafeteria. I didn't know him, so while it was a horrible thing to witness, I'll eventually get over it. What shook me more was the fact he was only in his early 20s, just about younger than me, and wasn't much more overweight than I am. Seeing firsthand how suddenly all my bad decisions can just erase me from existence, and the fact I've had a couple of small chest pains and ignored them in the past, I threw out everything remotely sugary the instant I got home. I had a woodworking accident just over two years ago, wasn't huge, I lost my left index finger, but it kind of punched me in the gut. Makes you realize you aren't invincible. After having a stroke, I became much more determined to do stuff. I'm much more aware that YALO. January 13th, 2018. I was in Honolulu, Hawaii during the false alarm ballistic missile strike. I called my parents to say goodbye and waited for the impact in the basement of our hotel with my fiancé. It took way too long for them to correct the mistake and let people know it was a false alarm. We were visibly shaken all day, and upon returning I decided then that I would request 3 months off work for my honeymoon instead of 2 weeks. Traveled the world and remembered how important family is compared to work. I still need to remind myself about it every so often, though, because the grind gets to you. I realized I was the crazy ex and immediately switched that shit around. When I graduated high school and realized I had no skills, no interesting hobbies, nothing interesting about myself, and that it was no wonder I struggled so much with dating. Spent the last few years changing that, and how's it going now, I'm pretty fucking happy. I suppose when I turned 20. Prior to that I had never thought past that age. Spent a long time stuck in a now what? Phase trying to not have an existential crisis. Eventually went to college. Got a degree and now work in the field I studied for. Battled depression and won. And found some of the things I was looking for in life. Starting to figure out what I want from life and what it's going to take to get there. So I guess I started my second life when I got out of my age 20 funk. When one of my best friends and his sister were murdered by his dad at 16. Made me realize how precious life is and that I should be always grateful for what I have. It also wrecked my best friend's life forever and he will never be the same. I had a conversation with my dad about winning the lottery. He asked me if I would go to film school if money wasn't an issue. I, of course, answered affirmatively. He told me to go for it. So I fucking did. Here I'm in my first semester as a film student, living the life I want to. Life is good RN. I'm not making compromises. Good for you but be smart. One life lesson I learned was you can spend your whole life dreaming, but if you don't realistically build a ladder to get to those dreams they are worthless. Film is a cutthroat industry. Take every advantage you can. Start a YouTube channel. Use your knowledge of film to build a product etc. At the end of the day everyone needs money, so be smart about it. A few months ago my mother fell down the stairs at 2am. We were home alone and she wasn't responding. I called 112 and an ambulance came. She's fine now, but the thought of losing her shook me so much that I decided to throw my life around. I only have one and need to do as much as possible with it. I came out as B, starting eating healthier and focused on school a lot more life has been going a lot better since then. When I lost a wife and daughter. The first few months I don't even remember, but I do remember when I started to heal. It was a long road, but once I set my sights on going back to school to become a lawyer, I really began to start to heal. This Friday I will be sworn in as an attorney. I'd buried most of my family, all grandparents, father, and brother, by 24. I'm not sure I remember the first life. Wow. Yikes. Hope you're doing better now. When I held the hand of a dying woman involved in a double tractor trailer semi-VS a Ford Focus collision. She was missing the back of her head. 
She was my age and had two twin girls. I held her as she took her last breath, begging her to open her eyes. That's when I realized I had lived through an ectopic pregnancy in 2011 that caused me to die twice and a septic gallbladder in 2013 to be there for this woman. That's when my life began. 9. Got my first migraine. Slowly realized my life was gonna hurt going forward no matter what, so enjoy the moments you are physically able to edit. My condolences to everyone else also suffering with migraines and daily headaches. Smile while you can. Tomorrow might be worse. Got a scary diagnosis. Had a fear that I would never be anything more than I was at that moment, a victim who never really lived. So I cut abusive narcastic family out of my life, got out of a run happy marriage, lost a bunch of weight, and started working towards a career I wanted. I'm not perfect, but my life is good now, and my body is mostly cooperating. I honestly can't believe who I used to be. In less than 3 months, got divorced, got fired from work, lost a grandparent and a parent and I have two small kids. Going on the 4th month, and have put in over 200 applications. Only nibbles and no job offers from reputable places. Did have someone set up a fake interview as an attempt for sex trafficking so please, be care of that people. My second life is starting between everything, now and near future. Just have to find all the puzzle pieces. It hasn't yet. I'm still young with the dumb mentality that I'm immortal. Wait people die. Look. You've upset him. On September 18th my brother-in-law was walking to work. He was hit by a car while crossing the road. We agonized over what was happening while he was in hospital for two weeks, not sure if he'd wake up again. We finally decided as a family that given the brain damage, he would not live a quality life, likely vegetative, and would have to pull life support. He was an organ donor, so there's some consolation that he may have saved others lives. But it was only last week that we watched him pass. I had no idea the body becomes so waxen. He was only 25, the baby brother, our third musketeer. It hurts so much. I think this is my defining moment, but damn if it doesn't hurt so much. I don't know how to use this to live more fulfilling life. It just hurts. The day I decided to get sober, my life was a fucking train wreck before that point. Second life started the day I had my first heart attack, I've had four, and let me tell you what, life is precious to everyone. I don't need anybody's bullshit anymore. I take my second one, to make sure my kids understand how to make the right choices and respect life for what it is. After a planner crash, when I was 10. When I was 6 I learned I had been born with a brain tumor. When I had it removed it was a big eye opener and helped me realize I only have one life. Holy shit. That a hell of a thing to only realize when you're 6. When I woke up in a hospital. I had quite minor accident on a bicycle. But I ended up on a very unfortunate place in a coma. The place was behind a slight curve on a rural road where speeding 100 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour semi trucks at full capacity were usual sight. I was invisible to them to the very last moment. But some car driver found me before first truck came and drove me to the hospital. I woke up about 3 hours later. I know what happened because the car driver told the doctor and the doctor told me. No idea who picked me up. The minor part was why I realized how close death is on a ordinary day. When I turned 21, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was officially considered an adult to pretty much everyone in the world and life was moving so fast. Made me realize I don't want to look back and regret anything. Now I work harder, laugh harder, eat healthier, exercise daily, and remember to always enjoy the moment. Heartbreak taught me that nothing good happened simply because you wanted to. No matter how hard you try, you can still fail, because factors outside your control can have an impact on your life, and you just have to deal with it. Realizing that made me also realize that I only have a limited time on earth, and that there is a real possibility that I can live my life without finding true love. She's not just going to happen. August 2019. I was depressed for a long while. Still am, and instead of seeking help decided to wallow in self-pity. My wake-up call came when I found that I failed an entire semester and I realized that if I continued with my free fall I'd end up in the same place I was afraid of ending up. 
I'm seeking help with my mind. Took a semester off and currently working in a lab. Most days suck, but I'd say I'm genuinely smiling more nowadays. When I realized that some people actually like me because of the person I am. Before this I used to believe that everyone was around me because I had guilted them into sticking with me. Thought I was an invincible beast until my twin died suddenly. Puts life into perspective at such a young age. I accidentally shot my brother, paralyzing him. It was a huge moment in our lives and certainly changed everything I thought I knew about myself. It's been a second life ever since that happened. After cancer didn't kill me. I was a typical reckless teenager slash young 20 something and I drove like it. On a long road trip down to Phoenix in the middle of winter in the mountains, I got hit by a blizzard. Because I didn't have much caution, I just kept driving the speed limit. Well, I took a curve too fast and almost slid off the side of a mountain. Yeah, I don't drive like that anymore. When I was 21 became very sick and was eventually misdiagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome. My doctor told me, kindly but bluntly, that I had less than 5 years to live. With a new husband and baby, that was the last thing we wanted to hear. After over a year of tests and treatments and blood work and hospital bills, they correctly diagnosed me with parvovirus in my bone marrow and were able to treat it correctly. Within another 6 months I had made a full recovery. December 2, 2006, Iraq. Our vehicle hit a large roadside bomb. Changed my life forever.